Matt is a business consultant who has learned to make every minute count. Scars are everywhere. We all have stories. I'm just lucky enough my scars are on the outside. A lot of people have scars on the inside and they don't, they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to embrace it. And that's just no, it's no way to live. Hello, welcome Hello. to First Date Restaurant. How are you? I'm great, how are you? I was in a bonfire accident when I was 19. Everywhere from mid-pack to fingertips is third degree burns. There's a lot of things that went right for me to survive the blast and then recover and be the man I am today. How are you? Great, how are you? Doing Matt. All right. Like I tell people the story, a lot of people couldn't handle it. Then go, oh my gosh. Like, they're, they're just uncomfortable and I get it. Hello? Matt's date is Marie, a tour manager who struggles with getting close to others. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Marie, oh, cool. I have been single basically my whole life. I've never officially had a boyfriend. Oh, this might be your date right now. I hope it's my date. <laughs> are you kidding? Out kicked my coverage. My dad was diagnosed with terminal cancer and he passed away in the middle of my senior year of high school. Hi, Marie. Matt. Nice to meet you, Matt. Very nice to meet you. Since my dad passed away, I just don't want to give myself to someone or let them get too close because I, I don't want to be hurt. What do you do? I am a consultant that focuses on healthcare. Uh, oh. I have a very real connection to healthcare okay. that I will definitely tell you about. Okay. Uh, cool. After my accident, I grew up really fast and I just have a different sense of life and where I'm going and what I want out of it to the point I'm just super focused. Thank you. I mean, you took my job. <laughs> so at this point in my life, I know I'm meant to be a father and a husband. I just know. Cool, enjoy. Thank you. Do you have any dietary restrictions? Yeah, I basically have to eat bacon throughout my life. <laughs> that's so funny because I don't like bacon. Really? Okay, you, that's fine. It's more for me. Yeah. I don't, that's totally, yeah. I've loved bacon. We've had a love affair for quite a while. And it was just you kind of bacon us. from the beginning. I so, did. Before yeah. it got like cool and sexy yeah. to have bacon drizzled yeah, on really dessert. It's really unfair of everyone to do that to you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. I sweat easily, and I don't want you to see me as a puddle. It's very thoughtful of you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay. All right. So, things you don't talk about on a first date politics, religion, and kids. We're going to ask if I want kids or yeah. something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That was gonna happen, well it just happened. I don't think I want kids. You don't think you want kids? Why do you think that? Our world is so corrupt right now. Mm. I don't want to bring a kid up in this world. Hmm. But we can it's make a it a, we can make it a different world. I'm just gonna leave it at that. We can't. I don't I believe we the can. The two of us cannot change the world. I'm just very optimistic. That's just what That's happened. it's very admirable of you to be so optimistic. I am not. I, that's okay. It's okay. Uh, do you want kids? I do. Yeah. It takes a lot of vulnerability. Yeah. And... That's not something I'm good at. Really? I really close myself off to people. Do you? Yeah. Big old wall. Yep. Big old wall. Big old wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. After my accident, like I tell people the story, there's been a couple times where they're just uncomfortable. But no matter how bad we think we have it right now, someone has it worse. And not that we should compare, but it just puts things into perspective. So I promised that I would get back to a story when we were at the bar. Okay. Between freshman, sophomore year of undergrad, uh, was okay. out of my dad's farm and was in a bonfire accident. A bonfire accident. Bonfire. So 50% okay. of my body is third degree burns. Oh my gosh. It was a low point in my life, got very depressed. Uh, but then I came out of it with a lot of different perspectives that I wouldn't change. I wake up, I say thank you for today. And I'm lucky because my scars are on the outside. I can't hide mine. I had to embrace it or let it define me. I just can't imagine going through something like that. I wouldn't change it though. What about you? Were you closer to mom, dad? I was definitely daddy's girl. Daddy's girl. Yep. Okay. Grew up a total tomboy. Um, my dad passed away my senior year of high school from cancer, so that was like... I'm very sorry. A really like hard thing to go through, because I was so close with him. Yeah. Um, 
I'm not very open and I just don't want to have to ask other people for help. And I think that probably stems from when my dad passed away. But it definitely brought my siblings and my mom all so much closer together. So it's just like you were saying, like, if you could change anything, would you change it? And as much as I would, you know, love to say, like, I want my dad back, and I still do, but it's like I, I've become the person I am because of that experience. Yeah. And everybody's got their thing that, like the one thing that sticks out in their life that has kind of molded them into the person they are. Yep. And you've shared yours, I've shared mine. At first, I just didn't want to talk about it, so I kind of kept to myself. But seeing that someone else is willing to be vulnerable, um, it made me more willing to do that. Are you going to dive into this first? Ladies first. We can do it together. Okay, let's do it together. Yeah, teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. <laughs> Would you like to see each other again? You first. <laughs> yes, I would. I, I would like to see her again. And now I have to answer. <laughs> yeah, I would see you again. <laughs> Make me sweat over here. You sure you don't want to polish off that blueberry crisp? If you look at where the line is, I ate my half. The best thing about Matt is that he is very open. Oh, this is going to be hard to get into. Oh, block it. going to step down. Block it. Don't look. <laughs> That's something that I'm not. So for someone to be able to give that to me, I think that's a good balance. Mm -hmm.